Can you tell me a little bit more about the impact uh, you think Catalyst will have? Sure. Mm. So I think any amazing blockchain in the future and also in the present needs to be doing three things. It needs to take care of value and how you move value. It needs to have digital identity or an identity or identity solutions on it and it has to have governance. And I think Catalyst in many ways is touching all of that, including also the sustainability of ecosystems and how you actually get the crowd to control. And already today we've seen that there's been multiple funds um, with actually, you know, where proposals came in through the IdeaScale platform. They got enhanced incredibly by the community and there was voting on them and money was basically being given to, uh, to some of those projects. And some of those projects is, is, is moving really steady ahead. But it also gives us the opportunity for the community already today to take decisions over the future role and the future direction of the blockchain. So not only does it allow us to to test and see different voting mechanisms, today is, is, is a simple voting mechanism, but there will be multiple different voting mechanisms coming on, but it also allows this you know, uh, governance and digital identity to play out plus the direction. Secondly, it's going to be very interesting also when, when people really understand the utility you can have on a blockchain to see how the ecosystem plays along, and specifically the ecosystem of custodians plays along. Because today is actually quite hard to vote if, you don't, uh, if you're not in a community wallet like uh, Ada Light or uh, Daedalus or Uroi and so forth. So if you're, in a, you know, if, if you're through a bank or you're through an exchange, you might be very limited in participating in this decision mechanism. So I think one of the things we will do a lot on from the foundational side where we already are very engaged in Catalyst, even though we are not sitting in the actual the discussion forum, we are already you know, working with a lot of these exchanges to allow the technology that you can do this voting even though you do custody through a third party. So I think it's, it's all about meaningful participation. It's all about decoupling uh, the ability to take decisions, but also having different things like preferential voting and, and liquid voting. And, and I think we've already seen today the power of the community coming together, enhancing these proposals, getting funding, and start building and, and enhancing again and coming together, taking slightly different decisions. So this is already happening right now, and we will see a lot more. 